Hello, boils and ghouls. Welcome to Watchers Podcast with your hosts, Brad and Colson. <laughs> That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Are we square? Four tails. Oh, Jesus, you're a nutty creature. And here. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Brad, here with Colson. Hello. Colson, how are you today? I am doing swell. And yourself? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. That's good. Um, I'd be very, very nervous if you're like, I'm not good. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going to happen one day where I'm going to be a fucking miserable, want to kill you mood for something. <laughs> yeah. I'll just be staring at you like fucking... I don't know who stares. Like Jack Torrance. Exactly. The there we go. There we end. go. Yeah. Just the. Yeah. That'll be uh, when Will Smith comes back in ten oh. years and wins another Oscar. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah so, we've got a fun show this week. Mm -hmm. If you guys may have noticed, if you listen to our intro and don't skip it, um, a little bit different music lately. Yeah. Uh, so anytime we're not doing a horror movie. You will hear the new music. Yep. Uh, it's fun. I like it. It is fun, yeah. Yeah. Colson made that. He's the technical music <laughs> genius behind stuff like that. The, and I expect the praise for it, so thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. A young that. Hans Zimmer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, that'd be a few Oscars in the, under the belt coming soon, hopefully. And yeah. Musical score and mixing, who knows. Yeah. And... How perfect that we're talking about music right now. Exactly. Because we're talking about a musical today. Exactly. Um, your favorite genre. It is. <laughs> and that is Grease. Yep. Before we get into that, though, um, did you watch anything this week? I did. I watched uh, a few things. Okay. Uh, I watched Brokeback Mountain. Oh, that's that documentary about us, right? That's very true. That time we went up to the mountains <laughs> to... Uh, uh, I think they're guarding sheep or something like that. Yeah. But, uh... But, yeah, I remember now. Yes, there you go. It's hard to forget that one. It is. I can never forget you. <laughs> if you... <laughs> I can't You're close, quit close you. to the line. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I knew how to quit you is the, the, the line you're looking for. Yes, okay, well... But, uh, <laughs> if yes. you haven't guessed, I've never watched this right. movie. And you should... Uh, I will. It is a it is a really good movie. It didn't win Best Picture. I think everybody thought it was going to win Best Picture mm -hmm. of the Year. Um, Crash ended up winning, but uh, it was funny. I have memories of being in high school when this movie came out, and I was in law class, and our teacher said, "There's a movie coming out called Brokeback Mountain, and I want everybody in here to raise their hands if they would watch it." And being in high school at the time, mm -hmm. none of the guys raised their hands. It was yeah. like it, you'd be you'd be considered gay, right? If you're gonna raise your hand and watch it, this movie is phenomenal. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal, Heath Ledger, Michelle Williams, Anne Hathaway. It's really a really good movie. Yeah, uh, it's very funny. It's very sad. Um, very well done. It's funny because. I honestly know nothing about it mm -hmm. other than there's two guys yeah. in love. Exactly. That's all I know about it. Yeah. And I remember when it came out, it, this is how much times have changed. When this movie came out, there mm -hmm. was so many jokes being made about right. it and stuff. Yeah. Now, if it came out, it'd be like, okay, cool. Like, exactly. I want to watch it. Yeah. Like, yeah. thankfully, <laughs> things are changing around. Yeah. Um, even my joke about it being about us was probably in poor taste. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it is a joke. Yes. Um, yeah. Please don't slap me. Exactly. 
Uh, but yeah, the movie itself is it's a well done. Ang Lee it, it directed wow. it. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, he's awesome. He, he did. It's it's great. It's shot in uh, I think in southern Alberta, and um, the cinematography is fantastic. It's such oh, yeah. a. My mom went to this movie in the theater with my sister. I didn't go to it. I had I watched it probably a few years after it came out on DVD, mm-hmm. but. Um, there's a scene in the beginning where they're kind of herding sheep yeah. and there's like water flowing and it's all kind of moving in different directions. And my mom actually got like motion sick. Like she had to put her head down. <laughs> um, and you, you'll notice the scene. It's like in the first few minutes of the movie, but it, it, it's just, it's shot so nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a good movie. I recommend everybody check it out. Yeah. I'm going to. I, I, I kind of so. forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I watched Brokeback Mountain, nice. and uh, I watched a movie called The Counselor. Sorry, I'm going to cut in for okay. one second. Yeah, go ahead. Did you see the picture online? And it's like, I wish someone would hold me the way Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> oh no, the way Heath Ledger holds the Gyllenhaals. <laughs> I have seen that. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> so um, funny. Uh, Jake's sister is in The Dark Knight. Yeah. Maggie, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, very funny. Yeah. He gets her, <laughs> yeah, he gets her behind holding her the at same party way. and, uh, yeah, he holds him good and tight. Yeah. And if you want to watch something else entertaining with Jake Gyllenhaal in it, yeah. uh, look up the clip on YouTube of him on Conan O'Brien okay. with Conan, uh, pronouncing his last name. Okay. It's so funny. I've never seen that, so I'll, yeah. I'll look into that. <laughs> he pronounces it the correct way and it's like crazy am i saying it does the world say it wrong because i think yes the world says it wrong okay um it's really funny perfect i'll look that up uh yeah the counselor okay is another movie have you heard of that one i don't think so it's uh it's like a crime thriller it has brad pitt michael fassbender javier bardem penelope cruz and cameron diaz newer movie uh eight years old maybe seven years old um, what a cast. Yeah, Fassbender plays a counselor, like a lawyer guy. Javier Bardem plays a drug kingpin. Um, and yeah, it's it's directed by Ridley Scott. It didn't get very good praise. Like, mm-hmm. people seem to not like it. It's low rated on IMDb. I enjoy it. There's a specific thing that happens uh, in the movie that is unforgettable. Oh, wow. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but uh, it has something to do with... They mention it in the movie fairly early on. It's it's something that you would throw over somebody's neck, and it begins to tighten. Oh, okay. And you cannot cut it off. And it will tighten until it can't go anywhere. Ugh. So you just imagine what happens. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who it happens to? Who knows? Uh, watch the movie to find out. Awesome. It's funny. Um... My wife, anytime I bring up Michael Fassbender, Mm -hmm. she's like, who's he? And she just cannot remember his face. Oh, okay. (laughs) Every time I'm like, he was in Eden Lake, he was like Magneto in the X-Men movies. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't remember what he looks like. Yeah, I like Michael Fassbender a lot. I, uh, he's become one of my favorite actors of the last few years. He's so solid. Yeah. He never puts in a bad performance that I've seen. No, no. For sure. Uh, yeah, so that's what I, I got uh, nice. to talk about. What about you? Do you have anything? Um, I've been watching a show. Uh, three episodes in. It is the new Marvel show on Disney+. Plus. Okay. Moon Knight. Oh, how is it? It's good. Okay. Um, it does a really good job of starting out not holding your hand at all. Right. And you're just kind of thrown into it. And you're like, what is going on? And then... As each episode goes on, you find out a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Because it's a guy, uh, he, in the first episode, this isn't a spoiler really, he'll like fall asleep and then he wakes up and he's in some other place completely. Okay. And he doesn't know what's going on. Right. So it's you like don't know what's going on. American Werewolf in London. He wakes up <laughs> yeah. in a around- <laughs> Is he clothed when he wakes up? Yes. Oh, that's a bonus thing yeah. on his part. Well, I don't know. It's Oscar Isaac. That, so. hey, there you go. Uh, eye candy. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good in this, too. Yeah. Uh, another guy that doesn't do bad work. Yeah, he's been great lately. 
Yeah. Is Ethan Hawke in this as well? Yeah. He plays like a cult leader or something? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Um, he has a cool power. He can, um, he'll like hold people's hands. Okay. And he has like a, um, uh, what is it, a scale on his hand, like the judge scale okay, yeah, looking yeah. thing, like courthouse scale. Right. Um, and he can tell if you are going to do something bad in the future. Oh, wow. And if you do, you just drop dead. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I know nothing about Moon Knight as a character. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's good. I I don't know anything about him, but I do have his comic books. When I was a kid, I used to go to the comic book store. Yep. He was my favorite because of the look of him. Yeah, he, he looks awesome. And in the show, I haven't seen it, but I've seen previews. It looks really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just... Yeah, there's kind of a... Uh, kind of like a Venom feel to this, too, at parts. Okay. Because you have, like, someone talking to him while... Right. Because he's kind of mentally unwell or, or something. Okay. You, can't, you don't really know what's going on. That's interesting. Yeah, really, really good. Nice. Um, but that's all I've watched. Okay. Wait. Yeah. So, while we're talking about watching things, mm-hmm. you've been watching a lot of things. Yes. Um, I'm just curious, where are you at with your movies? Well. Because you've been trying to watch a lot of them. Yeah. What uh, What I've done is I, I keep track on Letterboxd, mm-hmm. and I also keep track on just my tablet that I have. Yeah. So I don't keep track of the movies. I keep track of the numbers on my tablet. So we're recording this a little bit before it's released, but I'll, I'll give you the first couple months. Mm-hmm. Um, in previous years, I've watched, for the month of January, for example, a few years ago I did 16, then 34, then 22. Kind of all over the place. This year, I watched 63 movies in January. <laughs> um, going to February, same thing. 42, 32, 23, 33. This year, I did 63. <laughs> uh, March, same thing. All over the place. This year, I watched 76 movies in March. Wow. Now, I got 76 movies in March done because my wife got covid and oh, yeah. I had to miss like four days of work, and I just I binged. Yeah, like I was doing like seven movies a day for a time, for a time <laughs> there. Um, so yeah, I ended up doing seventy six movies. So as, as of right now, the day that we're recording this, I've done two hundred and thirty seven movies. Wow! And we're not even close to being halfway through the year. Yeah. So. Looking at what um my my rec my previous record is five hundred and forty five. I did that a couple years ago. Yep. If I can keep this watching a movie two a day, mm-hmm. I'll probably finish seven to nine hundred, somewhere <laughs> in that range, which is like destroying my old record. Yeah. Um. If I get there, I don't know. I may end up getting tired. Mm-hmm. Come October, but knowing me, I probably won't. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say right now. I think I'll probably finish in the eights, mm-hmm. but it could be as high as nine, and it could be as low as the sevens. Wow! So it's funny. I remember you doing like your last record, right? And then you're like, nah, I won't beat <laughs> that. Yeah. And then this year, even starting out, you're like, nah, probably not. Exactly. And then. I kept nudging at you too. Yeah, like, yeah I think you can do it. <laughs> it's kind of happening. Um, and like last year, I wasn't going. Last year was the year of TV for me. Mm-hmm. I watched a lot of TV series, uh, like more than I ever have. I watched like ten or yeah. eleven or something. Um, this time, I'm sticking with movies. Like I say, I'm doing one or two a day, and I do have a thing where if I have seen the movie a few times, mm-hmm. I don't mind watching an hour and a half of a two-hour movie yeah and then going to bed and then finishing that next half hour the next day right and then you know i'll count that as whatever yep. but uh if it's something i haven't seen i'm not going to do that because yeah. i'll end up forgetting where i was or whatever and i'll just 
I if 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 it's three hours, I'm watching a three hour movie. Yeah. So, like I say, I'm on par for the seven, eight, nine area. Yeah. And as the year comes closer to the end, we'll we'll keep updating. But yeah. So you're at what two sixty two? Uh, where am I? Two thirty seven. Oh, two thirty seven. Yeah. As of today. Nice. You know what's crazy? I just read the other day there was a guy who's seen Spider Man three hundred times in theaters. Oh my god. <laughs> How is that even possible? I have no idea. Jesus. I thought going to a movie twice in the theater was a, was a crazy... Yeah. Is that one movie or all the movies? No, just No Way Home. Oh my God. He has watched it 300 times. The amount of money. I know. That was unless, my first thought. Unless too. he like works there and like watches it every day after work. That could be it. That, But even then, that still wouldn't be enough times. So you'd no. have to do multiple viewings a day. Yeah. Jesus. How bored would you get of that movie? Yeah, that, that that's point? insane. That would make you hate it, I think. I would. Yeah. By the third time, I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah, and we, as we're recording this, I know it comes out a long time from now, mm-hmm. but we're in April. Yeah. Just to give reference. So 230, I'll, I'll probably finish April uh, 30, I'll probably finish around 60 movies, 65 movies for the month. Yep. which works out to be about two a day roughly, mm-hmm. which is what I've been doing roughly every month. So by the end of this month, you'll be... 250-something, yeah. roughly. Nice. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's like a quarter of the year. So may, I, I may even hit in the nine to a thousand. That'd be crazy. That would be. Maybe I should set the goal right now for a thousand. And what's the... The world record? World record? It's not much off that. It's like either 1193 or 1293 or something. So if you see yourself getting that close, <clears throat> mm-hmm. do you put the drive on? Oh, fuck yeah, I will. To try and yeah. beat the record? Yeah. And I have a huge complaint. That is a Guinness world record. Yeah. That woman, that's a cheat, man. She watched the same movie for like 30 days in a row. Yeah. That, that, that shouldn't I don't count. like that. It has but to be different. I, my, I said to my wife, you should almost have to do a full-on report of each movie that you watched, yeah, to prove that you actually watched it, because I I do watch I rewatch a lot of shit, but I also watch a lot of shit I've never seen before, yeah. And you come to me in December and be like, "What is this one about that you watched on March fifteenth? And I'll tell you, yeah, that's the way it should be, yeah. So, anyway, that's uh, that's what I've been doing, <laughs> yeah, this year. Uh so now it's time to get. Greased up. Okay. I like the way you phrased that. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring a little bit of sex appeal to the For show. Sure. You know? I, I get it. Both of us sitting here. I don't know how to quit you. <laughs> how can I ever quit you? How do I quit you? I so, wish I knew how to quit you. Yeah, that's it. Um <laughs> uh, uh, Grease. Grease. Um I'm just realizing now I forgot to uh check any sort of rating on Greece. Well, I know it came out in 1978. Perfect. And I know it is not my favorite movie. Yeah. Not my favorite genre, but you would be surprised to learn that I, I don't hate it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and it has a 7.2. Thank you. On IMDb. Um, I fully expected you to come into this one guns a blazing. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, we'll get to it as we go. Um, but yeah, Grease, 1978, 7.2, directed by Randall Kleiser, Kleiser. Yeah. He did White Fang and the Blue Lagoon. Really? Uh, I love White Fang. Have you seen that Disney movie? Uh, With, yes. Uh, Ethan Hawke. A long time ago. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, stars John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, Stockard Channing, and Jeff Conaway. Plot. Good girl Sandy Olsen and greaser Danny Zuko fell in love over the summer when they unexpectedly discovered or discover they're now in the same high school will they be able to rekindle their romance bum, bum, bum. hour and 50 oh yeah and spoiler alert okay yeah <laughs> uh spoiler alert this feels every minute of 150 minutes it, it's it feels long it is long yeah <laughs> now i have seen this movie a few times Me too. my wife loves this movie mine too okay um they probably should have done this exactly episode actually instead of us that's a fair point (laughs) 
My very first note, and I know you're going to back me up on this. I bet I have the exact same one. Uh, is it about casting and the age? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mine says, half the kids look older than me. Sunny, for sure, has to be 40. <laughs> I wrote, this is my exact note, people complain about horror movie casting people's in their, people in their 20s. Watch this movie and then shut the fuck up. The <laughs> average age of these people is 29, and the average look... It's got to be in the 40s. Yeah. Most of them look like they're 50 years old. Yeah. It's insane. It's so much so that if they're like flirting with a teacher or something, yeah. it's like, okay, that's fine. Completely normal. Yeah. <laughs> John Travolta was young. He was in his early 20s, 22 or 23. Yeah. Um, but some of them are 34. Some of them are 29. It's crazy. 33. It's, and when we say 34, we say they're 34 years old. And they, like you say, they look 40. Yeah. 70s was hard on people. It was. <laughs> um, the first song that they, they sing as a, a group was Summer Lovin'. Yeah. That might be the cringiest thing. Like, they're all, like, pushing Danny for information. Like, yeah. come on, man, how much Summer Lovin'? And it's like, oh, <laughs> good. I get douche chills every time I watch this fucking movie. It's so cringy. You got quite a singing voice. <laughs> I, know, I know. Those two <laughs> lines, I was like, jeez. <laughs> Oh, it's just uncomfortable to watch. It is. I, yeah. And the the singing voice is just, they sound so different from when they're talking. Yeah. I don't know about La La Land, which came out a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. but I think, I think if I were to make a musical, I would have them almost sing like, I know it's hard to have them sing live, like doing it there because you can fuck up and then yeah. you have to redo the whole thing. But this is like clearly... Oh, come on, tell us about your summer. And then the, it, the octave changes, and it's clearly a lip-syncing yeah. thing. Um, very noticeable. But it is 1970. That's right. Whatever. Working with what they got. Yes. So that being said, as my cringiest moment, as I wrote that down, the next thing was Grease Lightning. Oh. <laughs> which maybe took the cake from summer lovin because that <laughs> is super fucking cringy as they go in they're singing about that stupid car and they're they're na, 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 as they're pointing to i i just don't like musicals no and this one <clears throat> is just the cringe like I, I've, I've said it 50 times the cringe level on this one is is maxed out for me <laughs> it makes me shiver but laugh at the same time because it's so silly yeah it is silly um yeah the uh, in Summer Lovin', I like the dance where they're like moving across the bleachers. Right, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah, it cuts back from Sandy and Sandy and uh, <laughs> and dumb Danny Zuko. Um, yeah, the uh, I don't know musicals just yeah. they don't do it for me. <laughs> uh, Grease Lightning though, I don't know the the whole montage is very strange and it is whatever uh the scorpion gangs or Mm -hmm. gang that guy first of all that guy i don't think he goes he doesn't go to their high school or whatever he looks 50 years old yes um it's hilarious though his car is that black car with the flames on it and he's got flamethrower exhaust there's like girls crossing the road and he doesn't even they drop their books and he runs them the books over (laughs) fucking hilarious (laughs) yeah and he's got those things on his wheel that we see later on. Is he? He's able to like shred other vehicles with these things. It's yep. like you're a psychopath. <laughs> uh, that guy's great, though. Yep. Um, now, my favorite moment in this movie is Danny trying out for spo- all oh, the sports teams. Me too. Um, I love the gym teacher just like smoking. Yeah, uh, he's he's standing there trying to teach. Like he got a drill. It's funny because a gym teacher dribbles the ball and it gets away from him, but his hand keeps moving. Yeah, they're like, "Here, coach," and he's like, "Oh, good." But we see him do basketball and baseball and wrestling, and yeah, they're all very funny. They are. Um, baseball is my favorite. He <laughs> he he hits one, and the ump calls a foul ball, <laughs> and he grabs the ump's mask and pulls it out and <laughs> lets it go. It. That's funny. Yeah. Um, pretty good. Uh, now, moving forward in the movie, when they're in the diner and uh, they're, they're ordering food or whatever, one of the diner scenes, did you notice that they order milkshakes? Mm-hmm. 
Did you notice that when she dumps a milkshake on the guy, the consistency of said milkshake was essentially pure milk? <laughs> Literally might be the worst milkshake of in all of all time. It could be. I mean, you order a milkshake, you think it should have ice cream. Yeah, like thick. Thick, creamy. <laughs> this was thrown on him. It looked like pink strawberry milkshake. Yeah. Like, or milk. It was just like, like, <laughs> either, either he didn't want cold and that was like a room temperature type milk. Yeah. Or they just, maybe it sat there for 40 yeah. minutes they got the set ready. <laughs> or maybe they didn't have a milkshake <laughs> machine and they're like, this will have to do. It was very strange. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the race in the L.A. River. Yep. Kind of a famous uh, scene. Yeah. I guess. Um. That's where we see the black car. Is a racing for pinks, man? The the <laughs> car shreds up the other car. Um. I don't know. This movie. This movie is okay for mm-hmm. me when they're not singing. Yes. Uh. It's. I think it would. I, I don't know because I didn't. I don't hate the movie. It does make yeah. me shiver and make me laugh, but not in a good way. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not a bad movie. It's not. Um, no, it's kind of a good glimpse into like the fifties yeah. era. Yeah, and it's funny as a kid. I remember like not realizing that this was made in like the seventies. Right. I just assumed it was made in the fifties. That's right. So they do a good job of that. That's true. Um, what's the girl? Is her name Roz? I can't think of her name. She's one of the pink ladies, like the rough one. Okay. Um, I got the cast here. Uh, is it Rizzo? Rizzo. Okay. I kept thinking Roz. Yeah. Uh, her whole part of like being pregnant Mm -hmm. or whatever just sort of comes out of nowhere i thought it does and the rest of the movie's kind of light yeah (laughs) and that's kind of like oh yeah that's true this is a bit of a downer (laughs) like and even that serious situation that she's going through we laugh at it because she tells her friend and she's like don't tell anybody yeah the the soon as they walk out she goes watch it pregnant lady coming through and she's like thanks and as she goes, it literally goes from car to car yeah. as she's walking, and it gets to the suspected father before her. Before before she even gets to yeah. him, it's like it <laughs> is. We're a... laughing at it, like oh, Rizzo's pregnant. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. It's probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie, though, just right? the way it's shot. Yeah, because it's sort of like panning across yeah. the front of these cars. These and four people showing... lean out their window. They yeah. hear it. They lean out the passenger side. They tell that car. It's yeah. Maybe somebody runs around and tells. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I say, the movie, it's not a bad, it's, it's, it's liked, it's a 7.2. There's been, I think if, if you haven't done it in your high school as a play, you probably know somebody whose high school has done it as mm-hmm. a play. You That's know right. what I mean? It's a very popular thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah. My last note about the movie is the year-end party. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. They get like a full carnival circus type yeah. thing there. Like rides and cotton candy and it's crazy. Yeah. Never got anything like that in my school. No, for sure. We went to a playground and had a barbecue. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> like most people did something like that. Yeah. These people get like a fun house shit. Yeah. Um, um, has anyone listening? Yeah. Did you guys ever have anything like this? <laughs> like a this full carnival? extravagant. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. The only thing you're missing were clowns and fucking magicians and shit. Yeah. Not everything else. <laughs> uh, did you have a favorite song in this I movie? was going to ask you that as well. Um, my favorite song is the end... Uh, what is it even called? Um, like, not, it's the one after you're the one that... It's, we go together, do, that one. Do, <laughs> I sing that in my head all the time. Yeah. I like, I'll be at work and it'll be in my head. But I don't know all the words, so it's like, like, chubby dooba dooba da, yeah. dooba da, ba, da. That's <laughs> like, I just have no idea what it's. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's a good one. What's yours? Uh, mine is Beauty School Dropout. Okay. <laughs> Where he's just roasting her. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, guardian Angel telling her to go back to school. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Now, this movie was nominated for Best Song. Now, here's a weird thing. 
Okay, it was nominated Best Song, Hopelessly Devoted to You. Okay? Mm -hmm. It was also nominated for five Golden Globes, Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, and then two songs. But the weird thing is the two songs... Neither of them is hopelessly devoted to you. Really? One is Grease, which is the opening song. Yeah. Um, Grease is the word or whatever the hell it, however yeah. it goes. And the second one is You're the One That I Want, mm -hmm. which is very weird to have two in the Golden Globes and then, nope, we're not taking either of those. This is the one that we want. Yeah. You don't see that very often. Yeah, that's weird. It is uh, strange. Um one other fun fact, I, I think everybody in the world knows this by now, but she was sewn into those pants in the end. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> My wife tells me that every time. Like, yeah, I've heard. It's like the fifth time I've watched this with you. I get it. She's <laughs> sewn into her pants. I was um, sewn into my pants today that's for right. uh, this podcast. It's, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> my wife didn't think so. <laughs> we uh, used the... Uh, yeah, sewing machine though, so it was oh, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, like a James Bond villain. Yeah, getting up <laughs> into the ball bag area. <laughs> yeah, I got you're an old man too. Your fucking yam bag hangs to your kneecaps. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, it was uh, got sewn into my pants and got a vasectomy oh, all at the same there you time. Go. Sealed her up. Yep. Hey, two for yes. one deal. <laughs> oh, that's something. Yeah, <laughs> sure um, is. Yeah, I have nothing else other than I have seen this movie a few times, more than a few probably. I don't hate it. My wife likes it. Um, it's funny, but it's just it's not my yeah, not my favorite movie. Obviously, yeah. This I think it's the second time I've seen it. Okay. Um, and I noticed myself kind of losing interest okay. as I went through it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I it's fine. I. I don't love it like yeah. some people do. Yeah, I actually like most of the songs. Yeah, the song, and that's they're, the other they're thing. They're catchy. Yeah, they're they're, they're well done. <clears throat> yeah, music. Um, I, I think my wife had the CD. Okay. And the CD sounds a lot better than it yeah. does in the movie. Right. Like I say, just watching them go from talking to singing is very very strange. It doesn't sound right. Yeah. But the songs are good. They are. Um. <clears throat> One last thing I will mention. Mm -hmm. There is a Grease 2. Yeah, there I'm, is. I've never seen it. Me either. Uh, I assume it is set in space. Okay. That's, that would make sense. Yeah, because yeah. at the very end of this movie, the yeah. car just flies off into the sky. She turns around and waves. I don't know why. I don't know either. Uh, there's no real explanation. No. Unless I'm missing something in the movie that someone can explain to me. Um yeah, spoiler. Yeah, I've never, I never understood that. <laughs> no. Why they fly? I there. Do you watch Family Guy? Um, not in about ten years. Yeah, this one more. I haven't either. So it's probably about ten years old. Okay. But they did a, a thing of like something about the end of Greece, and it cuts to them, and they're in space. And she's oh. like, "How do we get home?" And he's like, "I don't know, Sandy." <laughs> and you know, they're they're out lost somewhere or, or whatever. But it was just, it was funny because that's great. How? What the hell? I don't get it. No, it's just why not just have them drive away, get onto the road and drive? And she waves from there. But no, they fly up into the sky. It's fucking weird. <laughs> it is very strange. Um, one bit of trivia. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew this or not. Oh, boy. Uh, Olivia Newton-John was actually sewn into her pants oh, there you go. Uh, at the end of this movie. That's uh, I, I, deja vu, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I've heard that before, but I don't know where. You probably read it on IMDb maybe, as well. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. I so, got nothing else. Yeah, unlike our horror movies. Uh, oh, no favorite kill? No oh, favorite kill. Right. Uh, sorry um uh, it's not spooky scary or terrifying i yeah, guess that's true um but yeah. i do have one question okay what would you rate this movie uh, i'm wonder I, i'm gonna be higher than you i think okay although i'm not positive i give it a 6.5 okay yeah i'm actually at a seven okay yeah um, there you go yeah i don't hate it and i like a lot of the songs mm -hmm. and stuff uh, a lot of the jokes and things seem to work pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's true. Do you like John Travolta? I don't care either way about okay. John Travolta. 
Yeah. Um, I don't mind him. No. Uh, I think he's kind of funny in this movie. The way he talks and shit like that. It's kind of, this role is kind of made for him. Yes. Uh, I'm very excited to watch Saturday Night Fever. I've never seen it. Oh, neither have I. But I want to. Um, it just, those type of movies seem to be perfect for him. Yeah. You know, that disco-y singing, dancing shit. Yeah. Um, he's good at it, so. Yeah. Um, before we go. Yeah. I have a question for you. Okay. I want to know, what is your favorite movie based on a true story? Okay. Can't say Grease. Right. Uh, I can't say Titanic either, because that's kind of a true story, but not because they added a whole love story that didn't really happen, <laughs> that we know of. Uh, and they sank the boat. Yeah. <laughs> My hearing that question... What immediately comes to mind for me is a disaster, like a a real life bad thing happening. Yeah. Um, Lone Survivor. The, that's oh, a good one. That you know? is a good one. Deepwater Horizon. Have you seen that? I haven't. Uh, Patriots Day. Another one. All uh, true stories about the bad things. Hours, exactly. Apollo thirteen. Exactly. You get these movies, and that's what immediately comes to my head. But if I'm gonna be if I really think about it, my answer is Goodfellas. Okay. Um, I don't know how much of that is actually true. Yeah. Because well, you're getting one specific. Yeah, you're getting one story. Some of these you can go by like a world. The world watched it happen. Or, mm -hmm. You know, Goodfellas is coming from one person who I particularly don't like. <laughs> so do I believe his story? I don't know. He yeah. says the movie is like 99% accurate. Or ninety five percent, whatever. Goodfellas is my favorite movie, so that's that's my answer. Nice. What about you? Uh, it's hard. Yeah. Uh, the more I think about it, the harder it gets. Too. It's there's a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have a solid answer coming into this, asking you the question. Yeah. Originally, I'm like, oh, Schindler's List, maybe. Right. Or uh, even The Social Network. Yeah. Great movie. Two good ones. Uh, hmm. Moneyball. Moneyball is a good one. Moneyball's a good one. Um, the Blind Side might be a good one. I've never seen it's it. It's not. That movie <laughs> fucking annoys me. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Zodiac. Oh, Zodiac rules. I love that movie. That's a great one. More Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. in that. Yep. Yeah. It's so good. That's a really good movie. Um, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Don't, my, yeah. That's a good one. One of my favorite opening scenes to a movie, too. Right, yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's a good. That's a good pick. I've been watching lately. Anytime. And that's a funny thing. Anytime I, want, I scroll through Netflix and it says based on a true story, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to watch it. Yeah. I'm just fascinated by true story things. I like to see what there. There's one that we watched just recently called I think it was called Dark Waters. Mm -hmm. It has Mark Ruffalo. I think he's in. Is he in Zodiac as well? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah, um, he plays like a lawyer defending these people who whose cows are like fucking dying because they're drinking oh, this water. Yeah. And it's like, it just seeing the story as it's told in the movie, and you know they're doing different things. All movies do yeah. these things, but Jesus, man, it's they're crazy stories, and I, I love I love watching them. So, mm -hmm. it's a great question. Yeah. I like that uh, one. Yeah. Um, that's all I have for this week. Yeah, me too. And we will leave you on that note. Uh, but before that, please make sure to follow so you can watch all our other listen to all our episodes that's right uh, yeah you can't watch too much no. it'd be kind of a boring show a black screen yeah <laughs> <laughs> we should do that sometime and then just roll credits that's right <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah yeah so thank you for listening uh we'll be back next week bye